Okay, this video is basically going to be a demonstration of uh, creating a program that will have some sort of error message uh, if the user doesn't provide arguments. So this, this program that we're writing would require arguments and if the user does not provide them, we're going to print out a, a message on uh, the standard error channel or stream and then we're also going to exit with an exit status of, non -zero, of a non-zero number. So exit one would be an error code status. All right, so that's the point of this. Um, so let's go ahead and make a new file. We're gonna do this in Python 3, and we want uh, this to be error, or um, we'll call this must have arguments. All right, so this program must have arguments, must have arguments. We're going to import the sys library to get our arguments, All right? Uh, we're going to uh, strip off the very first argument in sys.argv. sys.argv is argument vector because this normally provides the name of the program and we don't want that. Okay, so we are going to slice off that first item. And so this is going to be a list of the remaining items. All right, so if this list length is zero, so if the length of our list is zero, then that means we know we have no arguments in our uh, that were provided to the, the command when, when it was executed, right? So if that's the case, we want to print out a message that can tell the user this command requires the use of arguments. All right. Now this is an error because the user improperly invoked this command, so we can make this. Uh, print to standard error. Okay, we're going to use the sys library for that. So to make this print to standard error, we have to add the keyword argument um, file and set that equal to the file stream uh, that we want to communicate on. And in this case, that's sys.standardError. Okay, so instead of running running by default on standard output, this text will be uh, channeled to the, the file stream sys.standardError. Okay. The other thing we want to do in this case is exit with a status code that is non-zero because this is an error. All right. So we'll exit one. All right. And that will just end the program. Even if we have more code down here, uh, as soon as we get to an exit, that ends our program and it ends it with that particular exit code. So if the length of arguments is not zero, then we'll just do a for loop and we'll print those items out. So for arg in args print arg. All right, so very simple program. This bit of logic though, if we do not provide an argument, we're gonna get this uh, printed to standard error and an exit code one. All right, so let's go back to our command line, say Python three must have args, all right? And if we run it with a, b, c, d, e, f, okay? We see the shell grouped those together because I have quotes around them. So c and d, this is all one argument. It has a space in it. And then we escaped the space here. So here, e and f are also just one argument, so four total arguments. All right, now what happens if we don't have the arguments? So this is where we're gonna get the error message. Okay, so we see we have an exit status code, a non-zero exit, exit status, and we can check that from the shell with echo dollar sign question mark. So this is a special environment variable that is set after every program, uh, every command finishes, right? And if it's non-zero, then that means the last command finish it with a non-zero code. All right, but as soon as I run echo, that's a new command, and so the status code echo command succeeded. So this will have changed already if I ran it again. All right, so we need to verify that this is communicating on the error channel or the uh, standard standard error uh, file stream. So what we want to do is we want to run this program and then use file descriptor two that specifies standard output, right? So zero is standard in, one, I'm sorry, two represents standard error. File descriptor zero is standard input, 
file descriptor 1 is standard output and then file descriptor 2 is standard error so we're going to use 2 because that's the error channel and we're going to redirect that's the greater than sign we're going to redirect that to a file and I'm just going to call it error.txt and then I'm not going to redirect the standard output so that'll stay at the terminal All right so uh, we can run this program with no arguments we see we got an error code we got nothing printed to the terminal because the only thing that would have printed was this line and it printed to standard error so I can see error.txt yes indeed we are communicating on the right channel All right, I could test that again run the program and I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and redirect standard output to right? that's file descriptor 1 so I'll call this out.txt right? and there is no standard output so this should just be an empty file when we're done so error.txt is still the same and out is empty so what happens when I run the program uh, with the arguments from above? So I can just copy and paste this. All right. So now I'm running. This is the entirety of the command. All right. Uh, I have these arguments, four arguments, and then the standard error is being redirected to a file error.txt and then standard output is being redirected to a file called out.txt right, and now we'll see what happens now there should be no error here right so the error.txt should be empty and then we should get an output right we should the standard output would be listing the arguments All right, so let's see if that works okay so we get no output at the terminal which is expected we look at error there's no error message and we look at output, and sure enough, it outputs uh, each of our individual arguments. Okay, so that's one way. Uh, if your command requires arguments, this would be a common way that you might express that, and you might have an exit code one if they don't provide any ar arguments, and then let them know that this is an error by communicating on the error channel, all right? The standard error uh, IO stream. All right.